Welcome everyone, Jim and Aaron wish to thank you for traveling to this beautiful location to celebrate their marriage. We are gathered here today to celebrate what has already become a reality within and between Aaron and Jim. We are here to celebrate love. Love organizes our large and sometimes unpredictable world. It is that which enshrines and ennobles our human experience. It is the basis for the peace of family and the peace of the peoples of the earth. The greatest gift bestowed upon humans is the gift of love freely given between two persons. Jim and Aaron wish to share a few acknowledgments before they exchange vows. Hello everyone. On this pivotal day in my life, I just want to thank my family and friends for shaping the woman I've become. I'm forever grateful to you for providing the love and interactions that made me the mature, level-headed, hopefully, uh, fun and positive person who's deserving of Jim's love. I wanted to mention a few people specifically who have been influential in my life. To my lovely mama, who knew the right moments when to be my friend and when to be my mother, to help guide me through life's happy and difficult moments of decision. She's the most compassionate, loving person I know. And even if 1% of that rubbed off on me, I'll be in good shape. I didn't think I was going to cry. <laughs> that wasn't in the plan. <clears throat> to my father, who instilled in me an appreciation of learning and music, his example of showing consideration of others helped me to learn to temper my bold and audacious nature. The manners I have can be attributed to him, and the rest of them, Jim is working on. <laughs> to my brothers, Patrick and David, who helped, my, who helped develop my sturdy constitution, and who taught me how to share and get along with others, albeit with much trial and error. They challenged me to seek adventure and to enjoy friendly competition. And although Patrick is no longer here with us, he's always in my heart and my thoughts. 
my grandmother Redding, who accepts and loves everyone she meets and who is still living her life in the fullest, even in her later years. And it's evidenced by her presence here today. I hope to have her passion for life at all ages, and I strongly suspect my sunny disposition was passed down to my mother and then to me from her. So Jim, th Jim thanks her tremendously for that. And to my best friend Amy, who has been like a sister to me, but without the annoying clothing fights, if she had actually been my sister, she helped cultivate my wild and carefree nature and is an overall amazing woman that I'm proud to have as my best friend. And last leads to Rosemary and George for raising such a wonderful man whom I had the privilege of marrying. You welcome me with open arms and I'm delighted to be officially part of your family. Thank you. Mother instilled in me a love of learning, a street determination that have helped me achieve my life. My father taught me how to play sports, how to be a good man. He was kind, loving, and helpful in everything. Words alone do not express my grateful life for everything my past is. But also like my grandparents. Now, unfortunately, my father's parents still passed away. But their efforts with my father made their parents to me. My mother's parents, bring me here from the end, were always there for me. Support and spoil me rot. I was only grandfather. My grandfather passed away while I was in college. And I can only hope that if he'd been here today. Grammy's alive and well, <laughs> but wasn't able to make the trek down to Angela. and I spent time with her before we came down, and I was able to thank her in person that she was from such a good heart. Michael, my best friend, and brother from another one. It's been there forever. Growing up together, and the kids were really up here on the road. Two awkward teenagers worried about fitting in. Two young men focusing on their goals. And Mike, I cannot have asked for a better brother, best friend, and best sister. Thanks, Mike. Her and I would also like to thank all of you, our family, and our friends. We will meet our lives for the more enjoyable through our time here. Thanks for being positive forces in our lives and for celebrating a special occasion. In marriage, two people turn to each other in search of a greater fulfillment than either can achieve alone. <laughs> marriage is a bold step taken together into an unknown future. Such is the privilege of husband and wife, to be each himself, herself, and yet to face the world strong with the courage of two. Aaron and Jim, come together now to declare your love and to be united in marriage. partner life. 
Let there be confidence, frankness, and freedom between you. Cultivate and cherish that sentiment of love, which depends mainly upon the subtler and lesser things of daily and hourly existence. May your life together express a growing unity. Let your rings be a symbol of the unbroken circle of your love. stated your wish to share your lives, always open to a deeper, richer friendship and partnership. You have formed your own union based on respect and honor. In so much as Jim and Aaron have promised themselves to each other in this affirmation of their love and commitment and the dedication which grows out of it, I pronounce them husband and wife. You may seal your marriage with me. Like, 